I, I kind of just want to get into like like how you said just everybody kind of went their own separate ways it feels like at least from the public standpoint the first time Takashi went on the breakfast club the second time actually he went on the breakfast club and like he was kind of just talking about you know that you guys were stealing money from him and you know taking his taking money he said you know everybody stole money and everybody he, he's not working with anybody anymore do you remember that yeah, I definitely remember that. Um, but that's all that, 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 that's false, first and foremost. Secondly, um, that was, I guess, who, him or whoever he was around at the time after the um, Fed pressed him, that's the idea they came up with, like, to try to distance himself from the company and the brand, like, which made no sense. After him making everybody aware that he was pressed by the Fed, he went on the radio and tried to take a stand and get separated. And I guess he thought he was going to um, not get arrested. You know, I, mm. I don't know what he's doing in his mind or, or the people around him at the time, or his lawyers or whatever. I got to do that, but um, that's really the, the gist behind that. Like, so the f- it, it was, it was a, <laughs> elaborate story. <laughs> yeah, hold on. So the the feds already came to see him prior to that interview. Correct, correct. Maybe the day before that. that the interview was on Friday, so I think they they they. they Reached out to his lawyers maybe the Thursday or the Wednesday. Some, some to that. Extent. I can't be too sure today. Times, a lot of times passed with them, but I know he was already aware of the situation, and he didn't make anybody else aware. So he felt, um, in hindsight, I know he felt like um, him distancing, him coming up with the story was like sort of him distancing himself from us. And mm. Okay. It, it didn't work. <laughs> but what, so what do you think was just the root of the problem, though? Like as far as because it felt like he had a problem with y'all. Like, what is the root of the problem? There's rumors going around that you you might have talked to his baby mom or smashed his baby mom. That's what they saying online. So we just trying to find out what happened. Where did it go? Like left? Nah, that's that's not that's not true. Every that's not true at all. Every everything that you hear online is coming from, I guess, the PR department or whoever he's working with. I don't know who it is, but I'm just trying to spin it because he already knew what was happening. He was looking for for reasons to distance himself from Trayway. There was no reason from it, things don't happen from one day to the next, and you just say everybody still. Nobody ever stole from him. He has no proof. There's no seats. Um, yeah, I made millions. Yeah, I made money, but not by stealing from him. I made it honestly, and he knows that. And um, just like he made money, we all made money. But uh, the the way it came about, said that was just totally out, out of the ordinary. It was just all. It was a, it's definitely some made up story. There's no truth by that whatsoever. Um, every every dollar that was made, um, uh, my, my team has received straight. Um, like Tashia and his book and Steve, very diligent in keeping records. You know what I'm saying? So again, there was nothing ever came of it. So yeah, you can definitely see that it was just a hoax. Mm. So, but what about the what about the Sarah thing? Like you you and his and his baby mom? That's not that's not, that's not true. That's not true at all. Um, me and Sam, we were very close. We had a we had a, 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 a relationship as friends, plus you know, because we spent a lot of time together. Other than that, it's um, so made up. Like the only reason I don't even see why he would say that. That's embarrassing him. I think <laughs> I don't think he started the rumor. <laughs> You know well, where do you think that sure came from? Did that because she had an interview with Vlad where I guess she, you know, she said that that wasn't true as well, but like he seemed adamant like that he heard us from somewhere like that that was what was going on. Where did he hear it from? How come you heard all the things? Um, how, how come all the things came out the closet when um after everybody's arrested? Now you're you're trying to gain freedom and you're coming out on bail and all these other things, and that's when everything comes out the closet. No, like, you just you, you he just wouldn't. On his own at that point, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I never, like I never, I can, I can say that much. Yeah. You know what I mean? We had, we definitely had a relationship, but it wasn't on the, on the terms of having sex or nothing like that. It was all about family and friendship. Parenting. Okay. All right. Well, well, what about uh? You see, he has a new girl, Jade, that's out here. You know, got the new. She got the tattoo six nine up. She's tatted up, holding it. Do you know her? Oh, that's his girl now. Yeah. Yeah, I met her. I met her the same time he met her. Like I, my people paid for her to fly out to LA for him to meet her. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 shout out to Tashia again. Um, he, he probably knew that girl probably six, seven days before he got arrested. So. Oh, so he just oh he just met that he just met her then. Oh yeah, they, just, they don't even know each other, man. Like, they don't know each other from jail. Like, that's just cute. <laughs> oh, I thought it was she getting tatted up, and I thought it was yeah. All right, man. So. Yeah, I was just saying, man, because, you know, when I when I look and it feel like not that long ago, we on the FaceTime, you know what I'm saying, 
talking shit and you know you guys are on the top of the world man it was you know the hottest in the game and just to know you know when i'm looking at these you know press releases about takashi cooperating with the government and like how does like how does that feel just like relationship wise like your relationship with him just based on everything um I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I didn't think he would. I didn't think he would, for, for not one second, he wouldn't cooperate. Secondly, um, I think he should have took responsibility for a lot of his actions because a lot of the incidences in the indictment was because of his trolling the internet, first and foremost. You know what I mean? We all, like, again, my whole team is prepared to take, we take responsibilities. Like, you get know what I'm saying? Nobody was, I wasn't even a thought for anybody. Like, you know what I mean? The, 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 the people I thought would have told us something, or I even had an instinct of telling it's gonna be crazy when I ask them, like, yo, man, like, you know, it's, it's cool. They look like a like, shot. He fucking the fuck out. Like, that, that ain't never gonna happen. You feel me? So, for him to do it, and, and we slept in the same bed together. Like, I, 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 I literally put my life on the line for him numerous times. You get what I'm saying? I vouch for him numerous times. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I put my friends around him, people I loved and trusted, and I knew for years around him to protect him. And that's how you, that's how you thank us. Like, that's the most. Wow, um, it's, it's hurtful. It's like the, it's, it's hurtful, man. Like, uh, it's hurtful, man. Like, but what about you? Like, they come back and, and do something like that. It's just, you know, that's why he got the name Danny Rasko now. Like, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> but what what about the people that say like you know because Takashi's not he he's not a gangster like it, it feel like he you know he he's a rapper just kind of part. Who, 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 who are they to say that? Um, nobody forced him to do anything that he was saying. Nobody said yo you have to be. This is what he he wanted. This is what he came into us as. I didn't I didn't meet him and say yo this is what you gotta do. Yo put a gun to his head and say yo tell the world suck your dick and nah I was just yeah. there to support it like a real nigga would like anything right or wrong you right in my eyes. Simple. Yeah. Right. I said, right wrong, good. If you had the opportunity today to just see Takashi, would you like just think of just this like hypothetically? Like if you saw him, what what would you have to say to him? I just let him know I pity him, man. Like I I forgive him. I pity him, but uh, like, oh, you, you you ain't had to go that route. Like, you ain't you really ain't have to do this, man. And it's not forget about me and him. The the the, the fam the families of the people around us that had nothing to do uh, to do with this whole situation that's involved. Little to do with cool to be like, you know what I'm saying? Melly, like my man Creepy. People that really put that yo. Shout out to Crippy and Melly, man. I love my guys, man, for real. My left hand Crippy and my right hand Melly. Like, what, I don't know, bro. It's, it's, it's hurtful. Like, it's it's, it's, it's just weird. I was telling them that. Oh, man. I don't think we have enough time for me to tell you what I tell them, man. But I... right. <laughs> do, you, do they know him like that? Like Mel and... Nah, no. Crippy, Crippy no... Fahim Crippy knows him because he spent, that's my left hand, everywhere I was at, Crippy was at. And at times when I couldn't be there, I would let him, you know, protect, protect or be around um, um, Danny. But other than that, um, Melly, Melly met him three or four times, and I, these, these are my friends. Like, you get what I'm saying? Rose was around him a little more, but these, again, these are my friends. These are people that I felt safe around, so I'm, I let them be around him because it's supposed to be a better situation for us. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't want, none of this was planned. How you, how you gonna feel that I'm the one everybody looked up to? I'm the one everybody was expected to take us from the hood. And yeah. and I led them into, you know, the, the, I, led, I led them back in the jail. Like, I feel, I feel, I feel disgusted. I feel, I feel, it's, it's, it's weird, man. I feel disgusted, man. I feel sorry for their kids. They don't have, their lives are taken away. And for me, I would take responsibility. I feel Danny should as well. I think he should have stood up just like it. Like, you know, don't come up with no excuses. Don't distance yourself from it. Embrace it. Like, this is what we do. We, it's gang, gang, gang. And now it's, the police coming, ain't no gang no more. Yeah, that, that's, All right. that's what Ross says. Screaming right. gang, gang, now you on the rat. Now you on the rat, nigga. I'm not sure gangster before this. I'm not sure gangster after this. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing time for... A RICO charge that has nothing to do with non trade. I'm, I'm protecting my artists, a uh, trade with entertainment artists. You get what I'm saying? So I take full responsibility for that. Um, even though the charges aren't aren't that, but I take full responsibility for that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ducking from that. Um, the things we did was all protecting Danny. Everybody around. It wasn't that because nobody had beef. We all stand up guys in the street. My, my niggas don't get run around with guns. They, our niggas are still fired enough. Nobody had to do that. We was out there protecting the investment. You yeah, know what I'm right. For sure. How do you? I mean, just knowing 
you know, you, you looking at, you know, some time, man. You, you looking at some serious time. How do you mentally prepare for that, dog? Like, cause that's, you know, not normal just to even not, you know, that you don't even know how much time you're getting at this point. You know what I mean? Just how do you mentally prepare? Um, I, I can't say there's any proper way to mentally prepare, but me personally, I just try to, once I just reach out to my family and I keep myself out of the streets as much as possible, I don't focus on what's going on outside. You get what I'm saying? I focus on what's going on around me, keep myself safe, I pray, you know what I mean? I try to get to with my spiritual side, and, um, and that's really, and, and take it day by day, like, like, just like any, 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 any alcoholic, alcoholics anonymous, narcotics anonymous, anything when you're trying to get over something, you, they, the first thing they tell you, take it day by day. Like, you don't try to rush and think, I don't think about the amount of time I'm going to get or what I'm looking, I'm, I, I take it day by day because some, you know, I might not make it out of here. Like, that's just the whole catch. I got to stand up and be who I am. You know what I mean? I'm, look where I'm at. Look, you see around me. It's, I'm not, there ain't no PCs. I'm, I'm around other enemies, other individuals that, that, that got time. But you feel me? Okay. Just moved me from MCC and got me in some place called Valhalla until my, um, until my sentence. But I'm in protective custody. I'm not in none of that. I'm in population. I'm, I'm, I'm around. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Anything can happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I definitely do. I mean, because I, I always just wonder, like, you know, when he's in that situation, I guess people sort of justify it, like, you know, whatever issues he had with you, and then, you know, he's a young kid and X, Y, and Z, which led him to feel like he had to cooperate. That's not true at all. I don't believe, I don't believe that. I believe that Danny's a, not a, he's a, he's a young man first, first and foremost. That separates, stop saying kid, because he was never a kid. There's a time when you're a child, and he was far from a child. First and foremost, he has a child. He has two children at that. You get what I'm saying? Um, and and his le being left stray, he was the leader. He was the leader, just like just like when I was younger, and I wanted to do something. My my, my homie and him just let me do it. Right, like again, like I said, right or wrong, you always right in my eyes. So I would tell him stuff like, yo, I would tell him we had our own time, but the world's like is yeah, us against the world. I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care what you do, my man. Once we come home together and you get back home safe, that's the main rule. We get home safe, get back to our families. We make money and get back to our families. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you say. Like, that's the rules in the street. You know what I'm saying? I, and, I, and I buy by those rules. You know what I mean? If I tell them an issue, I pull them up on it. I'm not in front of the media. I pull them up on the other side. And, and that's that. Yo, do you think just in this climate, like, that Takashi, even though everyone knows that he ratted, like if he got out, he could still be successful? Um, honestly, I, no, he can be, I don't think he could be successful. I think he could uh, make a living. The height of success that he achieved was like no other in, in such fast time. So he, there's no way he'll get back to that with the tarnished record. Like if he would have came and took this time and stood up, of course, yeah. Yeah. Of course, but in the situation he's he put himself in, no way, no way. He can. He, I feel like he might be able to go to seas and do a, a little tour, but you know what I mean. Generate a couple dollars to to help himself or just to survive. But back to the millions, no, nah, not at all. I, I doubt it. That's and that's success for him. That's success. No, it won't ever happen again like that. Three years for me, definitely. See me on You know the vibes. I got all the artists out there. Definitely. You know what I mean? So you feel like you could you could re recreate this again? Of course, of course. There's no there's no feeling. Like I got noticed. I noticed. I noticed. I know the formula. I know I noticed. You know what I mean? And then it's, it's, everything in life is just about being stand up. Everything in life is just about being stand up, man. It's just about taking responsibility first and foremost, and I, and that's something I know how to do. Like I, I take full responsibility from where I'm at. I don't blame nobody from where I'm at. I don't even blame him for where I'm at. You get what I'm saying? I'm 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 I'm, I'm mad at what Danny Brasco did, but I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm I don't blame him for for me being like you. How you call him Danny Brasco? Danny Brasco, kid, and I'm man. Shit is crazy. Yo, hashtag Danny Brasco if you're out here watching this. Hashtag Danny Brasco. Man, nah, you know what? Hashtag Danny Brasco, kid. Nah, that's a fact. I just, I, I definitely, man, I, I had to, you know, kind of just tap in with you, man. The, the streets is always, you know, wondering what's up and, you know, how the brand kind of continues. Do you feel like now that there's a, a lane and a void right now that could be filled? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You got to understand, um, Danny wasn't based on all talent. He was just entertainment, first and foremost. So, the entertainment, 
entertainment aspect of the industry is missing from him. That's what everybody watched. Even though he was the most talented artist out, there's plenty of other talented artists out. At the time, currently, and, and uh, there's always going to be some other talented artists out. But in, in, in all reality, I don't know. Go. 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 Hello? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's definitely a lane and it's definitely somebody, um, definitely a void to be filled, but, um, he was just entertainment. He was just entertainment. As soon as we find somebody a, as entertainment. I mean, he had a couple records and shit, but I feel like he, he kind of trolled his way to the top. And y'all, like you said, is right or wrong, you was riding with him. Do you feel like you should have stopped some of the trolling at that time? Nah, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. The trolling is not what, you got to understand, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just going to be completely honest. The trolling is not what got us here. The trolling is not, the trolling is what got us to the top and what got us that bread. Hands down. And I, I, respect, I respect that aspect of it, but... Now I, I, I don't think I should have stopped anything. Um, the the behind the scenes things, maybe I reacted a little abrasively and in certain situations I didn't have to be as aggressive, but I didn't know any other way. I'm just like I didn't know any other way. You get what I'm saying? And by the time I learned another way, it was a sort of twist. You get what I'm saying? Right. What about um the Elliot Grange dude? I saw like on that Six Nine Breakfast Club interview, he was talking about like uh, Elliot. I guess was the dude that he was fucking with, and do you, like do, do you know him, F Elliot Grange? I don't know him. Like I met Elliot one time. Um, that was in the day of um Danny's probation and the day that um um Pretty got shot um by his security detail or whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, I spoke to him on the phone a few times and it was pretty good. We had decent, you know, we had decent rapport over the phone. So I don't know where all the um, tension came in or. Why they would feel like they can, um, I don't know. I don't really don't know where all the tension came in. Was he, did you ever feel like he was trying to steal 6 9 from you? He couldn't steal 6 9 from me. They was, Danny didn't want to go nowhere. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't own him, but, like, they couldn't, they, that was something that just wasn't gonna happen. I didn't, I didn't, Danny, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> it was, it was a mutual relationship, basically. You get what I'm saying? At any time if Danny didn't want to be around us, he could have left. You get what I'm saying? But as far as, but honestly, there was also paperwork that, that guaranteed that he couldn't take him. He was signed to 10K. He had to deal with them. But you never heard him scream 10K, 10K, 10K. Just fucking 10K. You heard him saying it's fucking Treyway. You know what I'm saying? And you hear the world saying it's fucking Treyway for a reason. It's crazy. They you still, know what I mean? It's crazy that they still saying, you know, fucking Treyway. Young Thug recently, uh, Hurrich Pablo Juan dropped a, a tape and the Young Thug was screaming Treyway on one of the records. Actually, actually, I heard that. Shout out to Thugger Thugger, man. That's one of the real slats right there, you know what I'm saying? Put that. You feel me? Um, you knew Thug? That was the homie? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I spoke to the homie a few times, number one occasion. He's just a good... He's the guy that held 6 9 down after the... um um Basically, it was that All-Star Weekend when I wasn't out there. Um, oh, man. He held him down till, 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 yeah, till we got out of Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Thug is okay. a real one. Thug is Thug is, Thug is a real one. You know what I mean? <laughs> definitely shout out to Thugger Thugger. <laughs> right, for sure, for sure. Nah, we definitely, we, we definitely like that. Now, I just, I don't want to, you know, I know we, we almost coming up on the on the time. I just want to, you know, kind of just get, you know, your, your thoughts on a couple things that's happening on the outside. Like, obviously, you know, it, it was been widespread. The Nipsey Hustle passed, and, um, you know, that shook the whole community. When you heard about that, what, what were your thoughts on that? Oh man, I was uh, it was shocking. I'm, it was disgusting. I was disgusted. It's, it's terrible. I read in peace, Nipsey. Um, I sent my love to his family, his loved ones, and um, it's just terrible when 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 our greats, like you get what I'm saying, our greats get taken away so senselessly. And he was definitely a great one. Um, his life was definitely taken away too too short. And um, you know, I didn't. I met him once or twice years ago. He got a song with Mel Murder. You know what I mean? We did that in like 2011 when when we still banged with um, Bird Gang. Shout out to Jim. You know what I mean? Well, um, but he was just, he was definitely official all around the, all around the board, all around the board, man. I'm I'm sorry, like I'm, I'm definitely heartbreaking. Yeah.